day, 90. Everybody around me is asleep. But I have these ants that I brought into my tent last night that are carrying their babies away. But those ants were hiding underneath my backpack. I had my backpack up on that stump. And evidently the ants decided to start putting their babies underneath it because it was so safe. And then I moved my backpack and, well, I had to relocate. So it's like 4 o'clock right now. And I have people all around me. Let me see if I can sneak out and see on the trail. And we're off. It is a really pleasant morning. We have possible storms later on today, as every day. Today we get to the Katawaba. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. But it is a general store. It's a gas station. A big gas station. But that's where we're going to do our resupply for the next couple of days. To get us into Daleville. Where everybody is named Dale. It's weird, but you get used to it. And then after that, it's Waynesboro, where everybody's named Wayne. It's weird, but you get used to it. Let's see if we look out and catch a sunrise today. I am really hoping that the store has some available outlets. I need a little more power. I haven't charged my headlamp in a few days. I've been using it on low and red as much as possible. High beam burns up the batteries. But today is not only the day where it'll go out on me. I've been trying not to charge things using my big battery because it takes forever to charge up. So it's better if I can let everything run until it's near dead and plugging them all in. Use my battery for backups. So that I'm not stuck somewhere for eight to 10 hours while the damn thing charges. What I'd like is like four or five mini batteries that I can plug in at the same time. You know, charge everything in an hour or two. And then I'd be carrying around a handful of batteries, but would make the whole town stop thing a lot easier because right now that's we've had owls singing all morning I think it's the same guy he keeps doing the same call moving around he sounds excited for the day yeah battery power is kind of an annoyance in my world right now not horrible still got enough to do everything but I keep getting forced into places just to charge. And then while you're there, you might as well get room and blah, blah, blah. And it all leads to spending money that I don't have. They've been coming across these big ass, I'm assuming they're black widow webs by how haphazard they are. I do not want to run into these on the trail. Look at the size of these webs. I don't see who made them. But yeah, I definitely don't want to walk into one of those on the trail. That's a whole lot of web. I'm just assuming it's black widow by its haphazard nature. But generally, they don't have so much of it exposed to the, you know, sunlight, we'll call it, eventually. But it is definitely their style. Oh. Oh, maybe an egg sack. Let's go check it out. Don't know what we're looking at. Some sort of egg sack, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's an odd spot to just lay an egg sack. 
Here's an old spot to lay an egg sack. Something up there is frothing and dripping. I would think there are frog eggs except for location. Let's go with giant scary bug. It is so still out here. Too quiet. I'm just using my flashlight now to save power on my headlamp. Mm. Really hoping the store has outlets. I have chores I need to do online, but I don't want to burn up the battery power doing them because I have to be on there for about two hours or so. Yeah, trails with sunshine are a bit easier. Solar panels really take my stress load off. It's just another annoying story about you know you gotta stop in town for food and all that stuff, but you also need power. And the food only takes an hour or so, it's the power, it takes eight to ten hours. That's a bit too long. Elon Musk, you really need to get working on some faster charging batteries. Come on, man, it's 2024. We should have flying cars by now, much less quick charge batteries. Twelve found us a nocturnal conniption spider. She's eating right now, or I'd, I'd make her do the dance. She is kind of a monster. They get a bit bigger than that. But they freak out if you blow on them. I'm going to move back to the center. I'm just going to nom on that thing for a while. Yum, 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 yum. See the little dance? That was just from a little puff of air. They have a little conniption fit. Okay, so we got to figure out how to get past this without breaking it. Yeah. Okay, so... This web goes out over here. I gotta cut one of your webs. Sorry, darling. Yeah, yeah, this web right here needs to go. Okay, what we got here is a nocturnal conniption spider. Dance for me, baby. Dance. Sometimes they freak out more than that. I got a good video where one of these looks just like a sock monkey. They turn different colors under different lights. Okay, so they have huge webs. This one will have a stringer coming out right there. I can see it going down. Sorry, darling, I gotta cut one of your webs. All right, so we're trying to figure out how to get across this little stream. The bridge is out. And we don't want to get our feet wet. Yeah, there isn't even a bridge to speak of. I thought when they said bridge was out that the bridge might still be here, but just unsafe. But now there's nothing left. But we can skip across these rocks. No problem. Oh, that was cute. Didn't even get our feet wet. It has a big old danger triangle on the map. Exclamation point in the middle. Beware, bridge out. The water could be as much as three inches deep. Oh no. Webs. No 
This is the last water supply. Oh, yeah, there's a little fishy in there. Very little fish. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, there's quite a few of them. You guys are stuck here. I hope, I hope some more water comes your way. We had to get them from like this little leaf right here. Last water for quite a while, so we had no choice. Didn't expect it to have so many fish in it. The forest has come alive. Guess this peachy glow means the sun is rising. Looks super hazy out there, and it feels muggy already. Doesn't help we've been going uphill for a while. But it's weird that everything on me is hot and sweaty, but my fingers are so cold. I think my body would be smart enough to just run all the blood through my fingers to cool it off real quick. Warm the fingers up, cool my blood at the same time. Sounds like a win-win. Ooh, the sun is just barely breaking above the horizon. It nods. Ooh, ah, golden lights. But yeah, that's all we're getting. About to get hot. It's already warm. I've already changed into my good duds. And I'm sweating already. This shirt's getting heavy. And it smells so bad. There's a bear down there. Hey bear, where you at? Oh, headed straight down towards 12. Let's see if we hear a yelp. All right, we think we've made it to the tippity top or somewhere near. Oh, I see light through all those trees because there is a bench that she's taking up the whole thing of. Oh, did you want to sit here? Oh, what? Yeah. That's safety meeting bench. We're already ready. I have to take off my back. To sit. The ridge line so wide you could drive up it. I'm assuming people do. Sounds of nature. Jets overhead almost are a part of the sound of nature because it's in the background at least a dozen times a day. I doubt it shows up, but in the sunlight you can just see so much silk floating in the wind. And bugs. Why aren't you bugs landing in the silk to save me? Sacrifice yourselves. Didn't expect that. Hey, up here is Audie Murphy's monument. I have no idea who that is. Pretty sure I went up there last time and it was a rock covered in, you know, shiny inspirational rocks and buttons and stickers and 
coins and such. I don't believe there's a body up there. No, there's not. It's just a memorial. At right about 10 miles away from Dragon's Tooth, the trail became rather manicured. I didn't expect it so soon, but I know things that are touristy have nicer trails that lead to them. Evidently, the kids have taken to calling Dragon's Tooth, Tinker's Cliff, and McAfee Knob, which a lot of them keep pronouncing McCafe. Uh, yeah. um, they're referring to that as the Triple Crown. They're like, I just Triple Crown. I'm like, no, I can smell the rookie on you. Took me a while to figure out what they were talking about. It's like that that's not triple crowning. I'm like, no no, I did all three. <laughs> you did three touristy sites. Good on you. Good on you. Did you slack back it? You can't use the name for something that already exists as a lesser form. You just can't. Can I, you know, say that I'm a Golden Gloves boxer because I happened to buy gloves that were gold colored? I'm Golden Gloves, yo. As you can tell by looking at me, I am not. This is more my Batman shirt, but it looks like I'm wearing armor. My muscles are painted on, and they happen to line up perfectly with my actual muscles, so it totally accentuates the whole thing. Makes me look way buffer than I really am. Colorful skirt kind of juxtaposition of the whole thing. You don't know what's gonna happen. He's like Batman on top, Boy George on bottom. There's something down there. Sounds like the crows are having a party down there. Is it a murder of crows? It is a murder. There's a nice little spot, stopped, had a little safety meeting, there was benches to sit on. 
We did not expect flowing water here. Our map doesn't even have this. How lame is our map? But more importantly, there is water after this climb. Ooh, bouncy bridge, bouncy bridge. Our water is slightly off trail, but in 1.6, I believe. Because, look, there's stairs right there. You know I don't want to carry no water up some stairs. Oop. Dragon's Tooth 5.6. Pickle branch. So there's leaf litter all over the trail. But it's cut and shredded. And it took me about 100 yards to figure out what I was seeing. Because I was thinking it came from the trees. And I was like, there's no recent storm to put this much leaf litter. And why is it so shredded? And then I was like, oh, that's the obvious signs of trail maintenance. Obviously rather fresh by how unwilted the leaves are. So they're just, you know, clearing the path a bit. Appreciate it. But yeah, there's little twigs and whatnot, so that's why I thought it was coming from the trees. Okay, got all watered up. Next water is in six miles, but I plan on hanging out Dragon's Tooth for at least a little while, so I'm carrying two liters on me. Last time I ran out of water, and I got all scared up there and had an adrenaline rush and felt all dehydrated and parched. There's a dude weed whacking on the trail. Just met him. His name's Corn Dog. Thank you, Corn Dog. I knew the trail maintenance was fresh, but the weed whacker noise, I thought I was hearing a chainsaw. That's what I just. I didn't even think about it. Didn't think about it. It's got to be a guy with a weed whacker. I've seen him with those big old scythes, like, you know, blades on the end of a stick, to whacking stuff out the way. But I've never seen a weed whacker on trail, I don't think. I'm fairly certain that was stacked by man. The only time in nature I've seen something stacked similar to that is in a melted glacier. And I'm assuming that there haven't been glaciers here in fucking forever. So that was stacked by man. But why? It's a lot of rocks. And this is what it looks like before corn dog gets to it. Oh, berries. these ones down. Oh, I see them way up there, Mark. And hands. Broccoli covered hills.
Only one and a half miles from Dragon's Tooth, but there's safety meeting rock right here. Good place to hang out, do my thing, give 12 a chance to catch up. I've been busting it out, get a little workout going up this thing. Can't see anything. It's over there somewhere. <laughs> There's a head on the trail the other day. It had one of those fish hooks on it. I wanted one of those, so I took it. It's a little rusty. It's been sitting there for a while, but it's my fish hook now. like a dog's face. Old broccoli covered hills.
I can fly higher than an eagle or a vulture. Step back from that. They are nice broccoli covered hills though. So deep and hunts. Looks like a bit of weather might be rolling in. Maybe we'll be down there having burgers when it happens. So just dropping our packs here. We're going to take the little blue blaze down to Dragon's Tooth. White carrier packs if we don't need to. There she blows. It doesn't look very intimidating from this side. Where did I get stuck at last time? I think it's this beast. Yes. That feels about right. There's a hole you could climb through to get to the other side. Feel like it was up here. That old, no, I didn't squeeze through something that small, did I? I think I did. How tiny was I back then? I definitely came through that. Ooh. All right, this is going to require both hands. The is Dragon's Tooth. I will not be going up it. Because I remember what happened last time. It was just getting off that top part onto this because I couldn't see my feet and it's kind of slick. I couldn't feel footing. And I'm sitting up and there's a little bowl right there and I was just stuck in there for the longest time, man. Because, you know, going over the edge. It's a good drop that way and it's a really good drop that way. Matter of fact, I'm intimidated right now. Signing out. <laughs> a little tricky getting off of this rock. That's the way I'm supposed to go, but man, that looks kind of far. I think I'm just going to follow this ledge now. Oh, I'm birthed myself through the rock. That's why I did it last time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, we're getting off this rock just in time. A storm is brewing. But I remember it's kind of tricky and technical on the way down this thing, so it might take a minute. It's still two and a half miles away. No, I can get that done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I failed the balance beam test. No, I can get that done in an hour, but when it's like this, it's probably going to be two. Might get a little wet, but it doesn't look thick. This is some semi technical shit, so I won't be filming too much. I even have a ladder coming out the wall over there. Because, you know, when I film, I don't really get to use my sticks or my hands, so it becomes a little treacherous. So I should not be doing this right now. I said I wasn't going to. Why am I still doing it? All right, that wasn't so bad, was it? Okay. And we survive. Please stay on the trail. You know, where else the fuck are we gonna go, man? Come on, really? I'm assuming that is the trail. Yeah, looks trail-y. Yeah, I remember this stuff. <laughs> the thing they painted on the walls is, hey, this is still the trail, because you might be a little confused.
It's sprinkling. Whoops, drop a stick. Oh yeah, it's a little more. That's drizzle. It's gonna rain. I don't want to get wet. Now you tell me. A little late for that, isn't it? I didn't see one of those on the other side. And it's like, if you came from this side, you know what you're doing. But if you come from this side, we want you to know that there's rocks on the trail. Yes, rocks. Some of them are big and angular. You have to be very aware. I'm ready to get to that Katawaba place. They might have hamburgers. I do remember getting a personal pizza last time. Look at this fat boy. Run away. Do some push ups. No? Right. Four Pines Hostel. There is a chance I will end up there. Well, they had pine trees painted on the road to lead you there. When is there still pine trees on the road? Oh, there are. I see one right over there. There we go. Food, 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 food. So we had ourselves some pizzas and whatnot. Got a got a day day's worth of resupply. Next town's less than 30 miles away, so no big deal. Uh we're gonna head over to Four Pines because it's already like four o'clock or so. That's late enough in the day. We did like, I don't know, somewhere near 20-ish, 18. Good enough for me. And a bunch of people we know are at Four Pines. Let's see, Wang It and two Papa Smurfs. <laughs> and Lord knows who else. But it's nice when you already know people there. We're kind of in a weird bubble right now. And I don't necessarily like the people I'm around. I don't know the people I'm around, but I don't like them already. So I'm glad there's people I know there. Go there, charge up our stuff, head off to good old exciting Daleville in the morning. Oh, here we are, good old Four Pines. <sighs> Where there's a human entrance. Oh, we'll take this. Uh, not quite enough room to hang the hammock, so I got a little more bed than I'm used to, but we make do. Look at all the hammocks going on in here. Uh, but when I got here, Papa Smurf started feeding me beers, so I'm on my third one. Tall boys, bush latte. Um, so yeah, I'm already getting lit. But you know, I love free beer. In here with Boy Scouts. Oh yeah, the youth of America. Corruptible. 